Dope. Yeah. It... All right, so next up we've got Kami and Davox against uh, Young Money and Pretty Cool Guy. So it's a pretty evenly matched situation. I think Kami and Davox are probably the favorites. Kami... Are they regular team partners? No, but just based on their play styles and their placings and how well they tend to go, Davox and Kami are very edge guard centric players. Yeah. Which I think is a strategy that really pans out well in doubles. And from the looks of it, we've got three foxes, so it's going to be... Edge guarding two foxes is shit. Yeah, Kami the, actually uh, has some of the best shine spikes in Australia, I would say. Really? Comfortably. What it's, makes it what makes a good shine spike, Nick? Oh, uh, if it hits <laughs> and they die, yeah. would be another thing. So just uh, picking your moments to go out there and yeah, no, bring Kami out that blue little box. Really sweats on the situations where he can get a quick kill. Mm. Uh, it's his whole game plan basically. If you can uh, pick the moment then why not save yourself the effort? And we've got Young Money, a dual Fox Falco main, but I assume he's going Fox in uh, doubles because because yeah. Falco is a little more difficult, a little more unintuitive. Yeah, I was going to say, um, how would you play Falco in doubles uh, compared to? He's got a lot of good tools. Yeah, because you have lasers to help with recovery with your team member, but if you're trying to use lasers in neutral. Well, I mean, you can also, like, there are a lot of, like, team pairings with Falco where you can use lasers to, like, lock off a certain part of the stage. Yeah. And, like, if you're, like, a very ground-based character or something, mm. then you can shoot high lasers. Or, like, yeah. Still, it's, uh, it's, it requires a lot more kind of synergy, I would say. It's very different from how you play Falco in singles. And PCG is, is, uh, is an aggressive-ish Fox main. Uh, very like dash dance kind of optimal circa 2015. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Watch Mango at the Big House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just watching. As in like Big House Four. Yes, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> the, the good, the good one. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think? I was going to say about Devons. He's really embracing the South Australian connection. Yeah, so he moved to South Australia, didn't he? Because I've seen him at all of our uh, evacs. So I think he always has lived here. He went really? to school here growing up. Ah, oh, but he had like he has like uni in the state or something. Yeah, because he's a uh, New South Wales PR, isn't he? ACT and he's not on the PR. ACT. Just because of the like sporadic nature of the PR being updated in SP. Like he would be on there, but I don't think he's ever been on a PR. Which is funny. Yeah, well I was gonna say he's a good player. And, uh, oh, oh. Good idea from uh Dabox for that needle save. Oh, Davox chokes yeah. the edge guard real bad <laughs> that now. It's fairly even. No one's really gone away with a lead. Yeah, Davox really strikes me as like a very set play oriented kind of guy, and he likes to have everything kind of in order. So the chaos of doubles yeah, might throw him for a bit of a loop. But he doesn't seem to be in trouble. I mean, besides missing that edge guard earlier. He's not like a very kind of like situational reactive reactive type player. He's more of a like I get my grab. Yeah, you grab and then uh, tech chase. Uh, tech chase. Tech chase. Yeah. And he's really not doing a great job still out the edge guards. Yeah, he's really I mean there were, everyone's always gonna go for stage with teams, typically. Wow, lost their all their stocks already. Crazy how that happens. Yeah, no, I just this uh, They seem so easy. That was an insane shine. Yeah. He really just shined everyone. <laughs> he said blip, and everyone else went flying. Isn't that crazy? What you would uh, normally expect from a shine, I would imagine, but that's game one. Yeah. Mission complete. Well, that seemed pretty uh, dominant towards the end there. Yeah, like I said, I would expect these two to be the favorites. Yeah. 
They've got the Gimps, they've got the good player stuff, they've got the relatively easy execution of being a Sheik player. FD. You think about uh, FD when you have a Sheik and a Fox to work um, with. I actually don't know that much about like stage strategy when it comes to teams. But I think like she generally doesn't like this stage. Like she benefits a lot from having platforms. So yeah, she... just having the full hop all the time against two foxes. Is, uh... And I think specifically PCG is the kind of fox that is good on FD. Whereas Kami, I don't really feel like is. Yeah. But Kami really strikes me as like a Yoshi style. Oh, and that's Stabox again, uh, messing up, I'm losing a stock for it. <laughs> it's so amazing much fire. Crouch there. Yeah. That's something I never actually see. He just like holds down and crouch cancels the up B and then chains afterwards. Yeah. I mean there's no reason why it shouldn't work. I mean it does work. Yeah. I mean it's like a specific angle thing. If you do it on the horizontal angle and on the behind you, and if you do it on like a sweet spot it won't hit. Yeah. So you just need to still have their hitbox in you after you're out of uh, hit stun. Yeah, but like have them on the right side of you as well. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Absolutely like interrupts his teammate's combo and then upsides his teammate. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that was a nice fair. I mean, it did kill his teammate, but... Honestly, way. Fox team is doing a great job of edge guarding their own teammates. Yeah. This whole set, that, that shine spike <laughs> to like open it up as well. Didn't that happen? I think. No, no, that was a different game. That was Dumpy's throw. Get my doubles. Confused. Easy to you know, get the foxes confused. Yeah. There's so many of them nowadays. True, man. You're right. <laughs> Not salty or anything. There are diamond dozen. Uh, Devox and Kami very cleanly won the first game. Yeah. Oh, all down to their last stock. So the moment that Sheik is out, Sheik is out of the equation, then it looks like someone's getting tangled. Oh my oh, god, no, they actually won. Yeah. I, how did this happen? Oh, they haven't won yet. One fox could up smash the other. I've seen, I've seen it happen, yeah. <laughs> so, Tommy's the kind of fox to win this as well. Back throw, shine. Oh, oh. yeah, that's all we have to do. Oh, double there. And that's it. Yeah. Wow, very close game two. It's uh, right down to the wire. Good bit of adaptation. Yeah. From uh, PCG and Young Money. And the uh, stage counter pick seemed to work for them. I think it was probably most of the stage. Yeah. So. Let's see what happens game three. Oh, that's a terrible start. Yeah, I just see that kind of thing happen. Yeah, <laughs> can't really. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> But, uh... You do that. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, sorry. and that's a shine, but it isn't, because he overshoots yeah, the, uh, no, the four about them. The opportunity was there. Oh, but that's another stock gone. Yeah, yeah Red's not looking good for Red Team right off. In the first 30 seconds of the game, I'm not actually sure which player is which, but uh, yeah, I'm finding this very. Fox is getting killed very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Whoever's like on two stocks. Yeah. Oh, the reverse fair. He's already down to his last stock. Yeah. I like that from Dallas. It's so important to get quick kills in doubles. Like you can't go for setups that are guaranteed, but take a long time in doubles. Yeah. It's just not going to work. You're not going to have the freedom to. Yeah. And that's not necessarily even from the enemy team. It's from your teammate, you could come in and actually interrupt your combo. I mean, yeah, hopefully not at any decent level of teams. But <laughs> here we are in, uh, at the Big Cheese. So. <laughs> uh, that's actually why I don't like playing Falcon in uh, doubles. Because I keep trying to zero to death people, and it just doesn't work. you got to get them off stage. you got to hit them with down air. You know, just play Ganon and hit him with the forward air. Right. Oh yeah, because you, I, Lemon told me you were playing Ganon versus Ganon Peach or something. Um, I did play Peach a bit, but that's just because I like playing Peach as a fun character. Um, and that was just helping uh, Lemon's practice teams, I'm pretty sure. Right. But... So, the red team right now, yeah, with a veritable inside. mountain of climbing to do. Yeah. 
an absolute journey upwards. But whoa! Oh, Ooh, he chokes the edge guard. Yeah, you can't. And uh, honestly, they look pretty good here. Yeah, I mean, they can hold it together and not take too much more damage. The main issue is taking the stocks off the sheet. Yeah, right. the thing is, Davox is like not representing that he's like a quick threat. He's like clearly a threat, but he's like yeah. taking a while to build up the damage. But that's it. Yeah, but it's uh, looking a little grim. All right. Well, now we know that PCG is hot. Well, so. that's the game. Mission complete. So uh, pretty clean from Davox and Kami, only dropping that one game on FD, which by all accounts is a bit of a rough one for old Shiki.